Hey guys, welcome to the Monday video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Monday is always our discussion-based video. And we're, today we're talking the plan for the Fox body. All right, so like I said, if you're new to the channel, Monday is our discussion video. And today's topic, we're gonna talk about the tentative plan for the Fox body. If you didn't know on the channel here, we have an 83 Fox body hatch, a 5.0 GT that we're gonna be working on. Um, I finally got it out to my house. If you haven't heard the whole story on the Fox body, it's quite the story. So I'll link that in the description down below. Watch that video. If you wanna know how that car came to be on the channel, I actually just picked something up for the Fox. And it's kind of funny because this is something we're not going to use for quite a while. One of the things I want to do is kind of customize the tail lights just a little bit. They're a little bit faded, so instead of, rather than just cleaning them up, I'm going to change the color up just a bit. So I picked up some of this translucent paint, hobby paint. The interesting thing is that paint is meant to paint fiberglass, little models and stuff like that. So I was told that they didn't know how well it was going to work on taillight lenses, but I've done this before. I actually did this on the lenses on my Mazda pickup, and what I found is if you use a quality clear, it works great. So that'll be, like I said, nothing that we're gonna do right now. That'll probably be one of the last things that we do to the car, just one of the finishing details, you know, just to make it look nice. So you've seen the color if you haven't. That was in one of our videos a while back. The car is gonna be kind of a pearl maroon color, which I think is going to look great on that generation Mustang being a Fox body and all. And it kind of keeps some of the originality because the car was originally red and black. So we're going to go all one color. I don't really care for two tone and it's going to be this really pretty deep maroon with a pearl to it. But really what we have to do first, and I'll also link this video in the description down below. If you saw us bring the Fox body home a couple of videos back, it's a mess right now. I mean, it's a clean car physically. It's a car that originally was brought up to Wisconsin from Arizona and then never driven. Um, the car has been torn apart for a while. I drove it once when I first originally purchased it, and then I had it running a few years back, and I really had no place to work on it. It kind of got pushed off the radar for a little bit again. Now, I got my house last year. I have a nice garage. I finally actually have the means to work on it, so that's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do, like I said, it's a mess, is we're going to pull it pull it out into the driveway. We're going to see what parts in there are usable and what parts are not usable. I have a spare front clip, and I also have the hood to go with it because it's slightly different than what was originally on the car, and you you need the hood and the front clip to match for it to work. Other than that though, so we're gonna clean it out, see what parts are salvageable. I already have a list of things that we for sure need and I factored in about 700 bucks for things that we don't know that we need yet. And if we do the wheels and the racing seats this season, which unfortunately is just gonna come down to money, um, it's things that I can get away without doing, but if we do that, we're looking at about five grand. If I skip the wheel and tire setup for now and just run what's on there and then don't buy the expensive seats, we're looking at like $2,600, something like that. So it's quite a bit cheaper to skip those things, and if we have to, we have to, and then I'll work on that next season. But we're gonna clean the car out. The first thing I'm gonna do is pull the motor out of it, and I'm not gonna change anything, because like I said, it was running. Um, we're just gonna seal it up. I'm gonna put new head gaskets in it, I'm gonna reseal the oil pan, and we're gonna get a new water pump, timing cover, stuff like that. And then another decision I made is, right now it's got the Ford, the Ford Holly carburetor on it that you really can't do anything with. So I was looking at carburetors, and for what I want, it would only cost me another $400 roughly to get the Holly Sniper EFI. So we're gonna go EFI, basically you run an inline pump and then there's no two sensor you hook up and it's all easily tunable on a little screen. That you can use just to tune it and then not keep in the car, or you can keep it in the car if you want. Haven't really decided yet. But yeah, so once the motor is cleaned up and sealed up and ready to stick back in there, then I'm going to go to the body. We got that one rust spot that's up on the roof that shouldn't be a problem at all. Or as far as the interior goes, I'm going to make my own door panels out of some aluminum, and then I'm going to use a product called Monster Liner, and I'm going to do the floor and the headliner and that. It's going to be a little bit noisy in there, but I want this car just to have fun, and I want to be able to take it to my local street legal drag races. So it's not a car that I intend to take on any long trips or anything like that, so I really don't care about that. It's going to be one uniform color which is black on the floor and the headliner and then as far as the dash goes I'm gonna use the skeleton of the dash and I'm probably gonna do some aluminum and toggle and push button all of my controls and by all of my controls I mean everything so I'm gonna wire up the coil the distributor the starter and battery power obviously so I can start the vehicle and then all my turn signals and everything I'm just gonna have push button and toggle because the original harness to the car was such a mess and had been spliced into and cut and chewed on so many different times that I just ripped it up and really it's an old car so there's really not that much wiring to do anyway I don't want AC so that's not a problem and 
here in Minnesota, it's not like you're gonna be driving the car in the winter anyway, so I'm not really worried about any of those accessories, the heat, anything like that. So all I want is the car to go fast and to look good. Once we get the interior cleaned up and universal and uniformly coated, then I'm gonna actually use that monster liner on the engine bay as well. So once the motor's out of there, we clean all that stuff up, I'm gonna use the black on the engine bay. Just it's easier for me to do and it's gonna be more chip resistant and heat resistant than the paint we're gonna use. I like a challenge, so we're actually gonna be rattle canning the entire car. And like you saw in the Prius bumper video, you can get really good results from a rattle can, and I just kinda like the challenge. So I wanna make it look good and have people be like, holy smokes, you did that with rattle cans. The one thing I'm gonna change is I used a Rust-Oleum clear on the bumper for the Prius. I'm gonna use what's called 2K clear on the car, which has a hardener built into it. It's like a professional grade paint. You puncture the hardener button in the can, and then it doesn't really have a long shelf life, and it's kind of expensive, but from the reviews I've seen, it's a really, really good product. So that's the tentative plan for the Fox, is motor comes out, gets cleaned up, interior gets all uniformly coated, and then we'll paint the car and fix that one rust spot on the roof. Car doesn't really have that much body work to be done. Um, as far as wheels and tires go, if we can get to that this season, I want to do weld drag wheels with the pancakes in the front and the, the big fatties in the back. I know it's kind of typical for a Fox body. I think those chrome weld wheels will look really good with the maroon metallic finish that we're going for. And then I haven't completely decided on seats yet, but the couple options I have that I like are right around that seven, $800 mark. So like I said, that's something that we might hold off on until next season. And depending on how everything goes, we might have some work to do in the off season. Um, I don't know how long this thing's gonna last, but it's a 302, so parts are plentiful and parts are cheap. But you could stand on the engine bay and work on anything that you need to, and you could have that motor out of there in an hour. It's just the simplicity of it is why I'm taking the gamble. I'm just gonna clean it up. I'm not gonna completely tear it down because I wanna drive the car. So we're gonna see where that leads us. And then hopefully if we have time, it's the beginning of May right now. I'd love to get to Mustang Week at the end of September down in Myrtle Beach in Florida. Um, I've been debating that even if the car is not done, I might go just to go and check it out. And then if that happens, I would just fly down there. I wouldn't obviously bring the car. But if the car is done, that would be my goal, is that if I can get that car done in five months, barring that finances and everything like that works out, I'd love to bring the car down there. So we'll see where we get with that, but that is the tentative plan for the Fox body. Things are gonna be subject to change just a little bit, but I'm excited to have that steady stream of content on that car for you guys to watch. So shift, wrench, repeat, you guys. We upload every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. Thanks for watching. Drop me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you.